So strength first made a way, then beauty flowed, then wisdom, honor, pleasure. When almost all was out, God made a stay, perceiving that, alone of all his treasure, rest in the bottom lay. For if I should, said he, bestow this jewel on my creature, he would adore my gifts instead of me, and rest in nature, not the God of nature. So both should losers be. Yet let him keep the rest, but keep them with repining restlessness. Let him be rich and weary, that at least, if goodness lead him not, yet my weary, yet, I'm sorry, yet weariness may toss him to my breast. Why is this poem called The Pulley? Well, what happens in the first stanza? What else does he do? Set in the second, third lines. Yeah, but what does he do with the glass of blessings? Right. So God pours blessings on to man, Lord's blessings unto us. And it says, let the world's riches which disperse lie contract into a span. Now, in the second stanza, he gives a description of what he, of what God pours on us. He says, so strength first made a way, then beauty flowed, then wisdom, honor, pleasure. When almost all was out, God made a stay, perceiving that alone of all his treasure rest in the bottom lay. So God gave us strength, and then he gave us Beauty, wisdom, honor, pleasure. And then when almost all of the blessings were out, it says God made a stay. What does that mean? He made a stay. It means he, he stopped. He stopped pouring. And perceiving that alone of all his treasure rest in the bottom lay. What is rest? Hmm? Well, here, and this is what, this is the, uh, like the pivotal line in the, in the poem, and this is what makes it such a good poem and, and so in, intelligently written, is that he's got a glass, right, and he's pouring out all his blessings on man, and he says that perceiving that alone of all his treasure, he's given everything, and then he pulls back. Alone of all his treasure rests in the bottom lane. So he pulls back, and then there's the rest in the bottom, right, the rest of his blessing in the bottom. But the rest of the blessing is, is actual rest. It's peace, right? He used, rest means two different things here. Because, and God tells us why, and rest means like peace, contentedness. It says, for if I should, said he, bestow this jewel also on my creature, he, sh he would adore my gifts instead of nature and rest in nature, not the God of nature, so both should losers be. So why would God not give us rest? Why not? Yeah, exactly. Right? God can give us all of these things. God can give us the, like wealth, riches, beauty, wisdom, honor, pleasure. But he doesn't give peace. Right? He doesn't give contentedness. He doesn't give rest. And if God gave us rest, then, then, you know, Herbert's saying if God gave us rest, then we wouldn't need God in the first place. We wouldn't come to God. Um, and, and the last stanza says, yet let him keep the rest, which is he can keep everything else except contentedness, but keep them with repining restlessness, which uh, means, that, right, we can keep everything, but we'll never be completely at peace unless we're with God. Let him be rich and weary. That at least, if goodness lead him not, yet weariness may toss him to my breast. Now, this works for God either way, um, in, in, this, in this case or in Herbert's poem, because if we're given everything, right, if we've got a really great life, we've got wealth and pleasure and wisdom and honor, we've got all these things, then, and he says, if goodness lead him not, all right, that's good things. Those are all good things from God that we should be. I guess in his mind we should be grateful for and we should go to God because we've been given all these blessings. And if 
If not, then at least we'll be weary or unhappy enough. It doesn't matter how much wealth you've got, how much riches, how, how whatever. You're going to go to God one way or the other, whether you go to him out of necessity, out of weakness, or just out of weariness and lack of rest, lack of peace. God will, I guess Herbert's saying God's going to get you one way or the other. Um, so why is this poem called The Pulley? What do we use pulleys for? Yeah, and pulleys are used for leverage, right? I mean, God has, well, Herbert's saying that God has leverage over us. And again, you know, one way or the other, we're going to have to go um, to God, whether it be through out of thankfulness for blessings or the manipulation of us not being contented or us not being content, us not having peace because God specifically doesn't want us to have peace because we would miss out on God and God would miss out on um, us. That's what he says when he says, so both should losers be.